Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make this mini Yip Yip. It was requested by a few people to have to hang in your car from your mirror. Let's jump right into this. So, that's the bottom that no one's really going to see. Um, so, not counting the hanger and not counting this bottom, we're going to put tassels on it though. So this, this will hang down though because you're going to put stuff in it. So that's going to be like that. I'll measure that. So without measuring the hanger, it's just about four inches long and about nine nine and a half in centimeters so if you did want it smaller you could always use that uh, Patton's Astra is a three weight it's got such vibrant beautiful colors um, it's very really good yard to work with and and then go down in hook size to like a 3.5 E or uh, 3.75 uh, you could always do that if you if you wanted it smaller but this one this one comes out using just a four weight impeccable to to a small size so that gives you an idea of you know what you're what you're looking at making in this video but using the same pattern if you want it smaller you can always but in this video, this is what we're going to be making. So there's a few things you're going to need for this project. For the eyes, I use styrofoam balls that you can buy at the dollar store. All these different sizes, but I use the biggest ball in the package. A pipe cleaner. A permanent marker for drying the pupils on the white balls. And then I am going to use this yellow for this project. And this is Loops and Threads. And the color is Butterscotch. And you're going to need a 4 millimeter hook. So we're going to start with a magic ring of six single crochets. If you're not familiar with the magic ring or you don't like it, then you can do a chain two and put six single crochets into the first stitch. We do build this in amigurumi. I think most of the people that watch my channel know how much I love amigurumi. So there's no slip stitching and there's no chaining. So we're going to start in our first stitch. You're going to do two single crochets in each space around. But after the first stitch, I want you to put a stitch marker on that. And then you can put the second stitch in that same space. Two single crochets in each space all the way around will give you 12 stitches. So you can pull, pull your middle closed. We're going to weave in our tail. Your next round is going to be one single crochets and an increase. So pull your middle closed as tight as you can. Weave in this next row just so it doesn't pop open. So that's one single crochet. So your next stitch is going to get the increase which is two single crochets in the same space. So repeat that all the way around. One single crochet and an increase. And you'll have 18 stitches when you're done. Okay. 
Alrighty. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and then an increase. So that's number one. That's where your marker goes every row. That's two single crochets. And then the next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat this all the way around. And this will leave you with 24 stitches. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. This is going to be our last increased row. That's number one with the marker. That's three single crochets. So your next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. Repeat this all the way around for 30 stitches. So you should have 30 stitches. Your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 30 stitches. So that's my 30 stitches. Your next round is going to be done in these back loops. So we're going to leave all these front loops for getting all of our tassels in later. That's the purpose of that. So you kind of can't skip this part. So back loops are just these guys. So you don't have to turn anything over. They're, they're looking right at you there. One single crochet in each of those. So that's all my, so now all these loops here are going to be what we put these into later. So for the next six rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 30 stitches into the full stitch. So that's my six rows. That's the sound of my vacuum cleaner, my husband's vacuuming <laughs> while I'm down here filming. Uh, so anyway, um, so now we're going to start building the mouth and head part of it. So I want you to do 18 single crochets. That's number one with your marker. That's my 18 single crochets. I want you to chain one and turn your work. So right off the hop, we're going to decrease. So make sure you're getting into the proper spaces. So decrease these two stitches. 
And now I want you to do 14 single crochets. That's my 14 single crochets. We're going to remove our marker and we'll, we'll use it later. And I want you to decrease the last two stitches. Chain one and turn your work. I want you to do the same thing, decrease these two. Just make sure you're getting into this first stitch. Decrease. You're going to do 12 single crochets across. And you're going to decrease your last two stitches. Chain one, turn your work. You should have 14 stitches. At this point, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 14 stitches. Chain one, turn your work. So decrease these first two. You're going to do 10 single crochets across and decrease the last two. That's my 10, and decrease the last two stitches. Chain one, turn your work. Decrease the first two. Eight single crochets across, and decrease the last two. And decrease the last two. Chain one, turn your work. You should have ten stitches, and now I just want you to do one single crochet in each of these ten stitches. Chain one, turn your work. So you're going to decrease the first two. You're going to do six single crochets across and decrease the last two. That's my six. I'm going to decrease the last two stitches. Chain one, turn your work. Decrease the first two. You're going to do four single crochets. And you're going to decrease the last two. So, now we work down this raw side. This is where we were chaining one and turning. Down the raw side, I want you to do eight single crochets. And then we're going to do 14. I'll go over this again while we're doing it. 14 across the front, and then eight to match this side, eight back up. And then we're going to create a new marker spot. 
and that's where our marker is going to go. So you can see where you can the holes that you could probably use to put in your stitches and it's fairly easy peasy. That's eight down the side. So now I've got stitches to work with down this one side. So across the front is going to be 14 stitches. So 14 is the corner, just like on the other side. And now I want you to do eight single crochets back up this raw side. So that's eight back up this side. So our new marker spot is going to be this first stitch here. So put your first stitch in that first stitch <laughs> that's at the top and put a marker on it. I want you to do four single crochets and a decrease all the way around. This is number one. That's four single crochets. Oops. Four single crochets and then your decrease. So I'm going to do invisible decreases using the front loops. I'm going to grab this front loop. I'm going to pop around to the second stitches front loop. Then I'm going to yarn over, pull through those front loops, yarn over and finish the stitch. So that's how I, I'm going to do my decreases. But you're, you can do your decreases any way you want to. Either way, four single crochet decrease. We should have 30 stitches when we're done. So, we're going to start making our, um, our tie, like our hanger. So, I do a chain 30, but if you feel like you need it to be longer, then by all means, make it longer. You don't have to, to stick to 30. So, we're going to start with two single crochets. So, that's number one. That's number two. And now we're going to make our chain from here. So I'm going to chain 30. That's my 30. I'm going to skip two stitches and go into my next one. And I start counting on this stitch. So that should be right in the center because we started kind of on the corner. Not that I have corners, but corner to corner. So that should be in the middle. And now we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch back to the marker. So it should be 26 stitches. That counts. Your reattach is number one. This is number two. I 
everything's getting in my way. So that's my 26 stitches. So for this round, this last round, we're going to kind of bypass this hanger. So put your, put your marker stitch in. You've got two stitches before we started to chain. So that's my two stitches. I'm going to jump over here and I'm going to go into the next stitch. Not where I rejoined, but the next stitch. And I'm going to do 26 stitches. It'll be 25 because I, I skipped the rejoin. I skipped the stitch here where we rejoined. I skipped it and only because it elongates. When I used it for my other one, it elongated. So I decided to skip it this time so that it doesn't pull the same way when you hang it. So 25 stitches back to your marker. We can fasten off. That is it. So this is what you should have, this. So I'm going to go through the stitch, I'm going to come back and go through the back loop of the stitch previous to the fasten off spot, give that a little bit of a pull. I'm going to slip again back here by going through the back loop of this next stitch so that you don't really see it. And then I'm going to weave. So turn on your hot glue gun, get your styrofoam balls out and I'll meet you right back here. Um, I'm going to show you how to add all your tassels and then you can do that off camera or whatever whenever you want. So I'm just going to use my phone case because I really don't need them to be that long. I just need them to be there and I'm just going to wrap around my phone case. Um, I don't know how many you need. However many, <laughs> however many we started with. Gosh, 30? You might need 30 strands. Eight, nine, thirty. So once you have your strands, I wrapped a little too tight, I can barely get in there. You need to cut all of these. Oh, I should have used bigger scissors. Anyway, pull that out. So you got your strands. These front loops, let's find the jog here. You're going to have a jog. So you've got a front loop, stick my finger in there, you got a front loop that's down here and a front loop that's up here but I wouldn't really be too concerned you're not gonna really be able to tell. Anyway this is gonna be the same way as adding hair. You're gonna fold your piece in half. Now you can go in with a much smaller hook if you don't want to um, stretch out your front loop all that much. So go into your front loop. You're going to grab, put that on there. You're going to pull through and then you're going to yarn over and pull through that loop to make a knot. And that's how you're going to add all your, all your little frillies. So while we're waiting on our hot glue gun to heat up, 
you could probably do some of this. I mean, you could do most of it probably off camera once the video is done, but while I'm waiting, I'm just going to do mine. All right, I got one more tassel left and I am going to get to my eyeballs. So my heating, my heating gun, my hot glue gun is probably warm enough. So because of the way I put it on, it sticks up a bit, but once you pull it down, it'll be perfectly fine. So that's the jog. It's not that noticeable. There we go. I'm gonna look like a yip yip. So seat this the way I want to. And get your eyes on right. Once that's done, take your permanent marker. Draw your pupils. And I understand not everybody can draw, but I can't draw anything, and I've done it, so. They may not be perfectly round, and I got more marker on me now. I just finished uh, filming my Lilo, and I ended up with marker on my hands from that. Now I got marker on me again. I am just a klutz. All right. So, now that our eyeballs are done, the last thing to do is to take our pipe cleaner. And you have to bend it. It's weird. Stick it through first. I used a needle. Every time I've used pipe cleaners, I use a needle, but I only stick it through like a little bit. It's difficult, but you're going to go in back here with your pipe cleaner. So I just use this to guide like that. You'll have to cut this, obviously. Anyway, pull it through evenly. So, this comes up like this, and out like this. Well, sort of, <laughs> not so bad. I didn't do that very good. Yeah, something like that. Something like that, and then I just cut off the uh, the excess, so it's not so long. There we go. There we go. That's your yep yep for your. Mini yip yip for your car. Like I said, if you need it smaller, you can always use that Patton's Astra 
yarn it's really good to work with but so with the frills and everything it's about seven inches long but the body itself is four inches so anyway i hope you enjoyed that thanks for joining me and i'll see you in the next video